Welcome to the podcast, everybody. Been missing y'all. Welcome back. Hope y'all have had a good break away from fantasy sports. I've been missing fantasy football, you know, all the other ones just really aren't the same thing. Well, let's get right to it, guys. Uh, the first things first is the draft. We're thinking about the Sunday after the Washington State game, the home game, so we need everyone to be down in town. That means you, Nick, again, because you said probably, and probably is just not going to cut it. Talk to John Will. He probably couldn't do group text messaging, so he got his ass kicked out. Uh, what else is going on? We're going to do it. I'm thinking, unless anybody has any better ideas, maybe here at Mimi and Big Dad's, which I'm upstairs at right now. They're graciously letting me stay here until my mattress gets in. We will be doing it here. I'm going to talk to Mimi. She'll probably cook for us. Be cool. They got Wi-Fi dogs. It'll be good. Good all time. If you have any other suggestions, let me know. I've called a bunch of restaurants. Some of them don't let us do parties like that. The other ones, like Bloodhound, says their Wi-Fi sort of sucks. So, can't really do anything about that, but... It's whatever. Mimi's a better cook than all of them. That's right. Uh, little things coming on new. Mostly the point system is going to stay the same with our league. It's going to not much. We're not changing the points a lot. I think I changed that if you missed an extra point with your kicker, you might lose a point. That's one of the only big things one person complained about a lot was John Mark. But I'm expecting a lot more complaining from John Mark and Sal about rules like always. Makes it fun and gives me something to do on Sundays. Speaking of Sundays, by the way, I've moved into Jacob's apartment again, and I'm welcoming anyone everyone to come watch the games at our p- apartment. We would love it. I have set up surround sound. It's going to be great. Now, speaking of little rules, talking about the John Will rule, which is the rule that we do a voting and one person gets kicked out. I, right now, am going to suspend that, but at week seven, we're going to take a vote through the league and I'm going to ask each member if they want to do the John Will rule, put it in effect, which means we'll lose one member, or if not. So you just take that for how how you will. It matters how people act in the thread or how stuff's going. I don't know. I'm going to leave that up to you. I think that's sort of fun. Some awards. Just did a little. Had to make these up on the fly. I've been, doing, uh, been a little hectic lately. The Billy Bean Award. Billy Bean is the guy from Moneyball who does all these stats and research. That goes to Stephen Middlesal Salanitri. Ah, the Middlesal. Sal has been reading books, and he's made the spreadsheet, and he's done over 200 mock drafts. Yes, 200. Never done one in my life. Done over 200 mock drafts. And, you know, Billy Bean, they've never won the World Series. They've never won the championship, the A's, under him. Sal, I don't think it's going to happen, man. I think you got the Billy Bean Award. The Gene Chizik Award, the award, like, have we even missed you since we be- since you've been gone? Like, have we even missed you? Grace, where have you been? Now, we haven't missed you since you've been gone. You haven't even gave anything. I give shit to someone. Veto some trades. Oh, that is a thing I did change. Veto and trades is now six vetoes rather than four. That's a change because all the Nancys were tired of getting all their stuff. The Jizz Sheets Award? That goes to Cook. Jacob right now in Auburn. He had a subleaser leases uh, place. And, well, didn't wash the sheets. Like a 45-year-old man. You wonder what's in those sheets, Cook. That's just for you, man. Uh, let's think of this. Some storylines that we got on it. Some new awards. I'm going to have the Jay Jacobs Award. That's for the person who just sucks. Because Jay Jacobs sucks. So we're going to have that award. Uh, some other things. Can Rick's team really stink that bad two years in a row? I don't know, man. I thought, I'm thinking better of you, Mr. Rick. You're my sleeper. Uh, another storyline. Could John Mark repeat? That's always a good one. Uh, Sal Bowles is a good storyline. The girls, will a girl step up this year? Uh, and, and Team 10. But we'll get to Team 10 later. We'll save that for the big end. And uh, another one, who will draft Philip Rivers? Someone's going to do it. I'm going to draft a Wayne Bow. I draft him every year because I think he's a sleeper in like the eighth round, and he bites me in the ass. Speaking of that, baby, 12 games in a row, and that's with Dan Ugla sucking. He's 5 for 45 in the streak. But the Braves are still running because you can't chop it. You can't stop it. You can't stop that chop. All right, what else is Spider-Man gay? That's a storyline. All right, now, to the big news we've all been waiting for is Team 10. So we've had some guesses. I've heard Carolyn Salonitri. I've heard Brooks' dad, Brooks' brother, Spencer, my dad, my friend John, Emily Newby has been one, Rob Freeman, TJ has been one. All those are wrong. They've been way wrong. What do y'all think this is, amateur hour? 
I sent out a total of two requests for this position. Two. The first one, I didn't get a message back, but it's okay. It was a long shot. I tried to get Jacob's dad in it. Didn't respond back to my Facebook message. He's my landlord. What 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 if there was something wrong? Didn't even respond back. But it's all right because today this happened today. I was going to, I was it was going to be someone else. It was probably going to be Spencer in our league. But around three o'clock, I got a text and just shit got real. So I'm going to sum this up. 2010, me, John, Mark, Nick, Stefcon, and Smurg went to the Lexington game. And I, some one of my friend, one of the guy I knew, needed me to send pictures of that game so he could post them. So I took pictures and all this, and I was going through my phone book, and I saw I still had his number. So I sent him a random shout-out text and all this stuff, and I was like, hey, I got this league, you know, we need a 10th member, yada, 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 we'd really like to have you, and all this stuff. And so I didn't hear back from him. This is like a month ago. Nothing. Well, I get a random message today. It's probably the Lord. Speaking about it, it's probably Jesus letting me know that, you know, Brotman needs your help. And so, without further ado, guys, the person who will be Team 10 of our league is none other than a man who has 25,000 followers on Twitter. Huge. Shut down Vegas one day because he reported Cam Newton was out when he wasn't. An Opelika high grad and a guy who's very, very knows his football very well is the one... And only War Bloggle, Kurt Branch, is going to be Team 10 in our league. He's very excited. I just got this confirmed like 20 minutes ago. Me and him have been going back and forth a lot today. So it's going to be War Bloggle. How pretty cool is that? I'm pretty stoked, pretty excited for this season. I'll probably make one of these for the seasons. I love all y'all. Hey, it's all the niggas in the struggle. It's all good, baby, baby. Woo! That was a good one. Knock that out quick. Play your cards down. My bitch a chosen lover. Never fuck without a rubber. Never in the sheets. Like it on top of the cover. Money on the dresser.